morning iPhone, welcome to today's vlog. Starting today's vlog in Mila's bedroom. Haven't been in here in ages. It's kind of one of those rooms where we just keep the door closed <laughs> because it's a mess. <laughs> it's got like random things in here that have just been put in because this is one of the rooms in the house that we don't use. Obviously Mila's still in our bedroom. So I was actually just saying to Chris this morning when me and Chris, me and Chris get up before everyone else and we sit on the chairs, just on the new landing. And we've done that for a few days now, but we fully finished, well, we didn't fully finish, but we, we made progress on the landing space yesterday. So it was so much nicer today to sit out there and have our cups of tea and Chris has coffee. Uh, and we were saying that we need to finish Mila's nursery, this room that I'm in right now. We've pretty much got everything we need aside from the cot, but we've got everything else we need for this room, I think. It's just not been a priority to finish because obviously it's not used at the moment. Anyway, I'm starting the vlog off in here today because I've got a mega, Pat Pat haul to show you guys. I am honestly so impressed. Like I'm so excited about some of these clothes, but I'm going to do that a little bit later. But I wanted to start the vlog with it because I've got a surprise and I need to do it now because she's getting dressed. She's rooting through a wardrobe, trying to find something red, trying to find something with, find something with hearts on it. And I've got a surprise for her here. I actually forgot I'd ordered this, but I ordered Isla and Mila a few matching outfits, which Isla is going to freak out about. She loves matching. She loves matching with Esme. Esme is 12, but she still enjoys matching with Isla um, most of the time. But, oh my gosh, these are so cute. I'm so excited. I ordered these for Valentine's Day, obviously. I'm so, so glad they arrived on time. So, let me see, what age did I? I did eight to nine for Isla. Look how cute. Little Valentine's Day dress. <laughs> so cute. And then three to six months for Mila. A little onesie. They match. So cute. I'm going to go surprise her now. Isla! Yeah. Come here, babe. Yeah. Pop your butt there. Okay. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Keep them closed. Okay. Open. <gasps> turn, turn it the other way. Got you a Valentine's Day dress. <gasps> Thank you so much! <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate that. I didn't get the girls one, but I got oh you one. Gosh. But guess what? What? Mila's, Mila's got, got, got a matching dress to me! <laughs> Thank got, you so much! I got for Mila me. matching. <laughs> I know you I know you love matching. I know you've been searching for an outfit today with a love heart on it. And I got oh. you a Mila matching dress! Thank one. you so much! <laughs> Thank you. Go, that's you. so cute. You're I'm gonna welcome. get a tie on. Okay. <laughs> it's so cute. That's right. Planning on getting dressed today. <laughs> this is what Esme spends all day doing. But can I, I can also, do this? although this morning, that was me. I nearly broke my back. It's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna deflate it. And oh, yeah, <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at you two. Yeah. <laughs> you look so cute. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Look <laughs> at Mila's face. Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. You yes. look beautiful, Lila. Thank you. I need to get a picture of you both today. Yeah, we'll take it really nice. You look adorable. As May's loving life. I'm going to wear a I like your hair like that, actually. Just a bit baggy and a bit loose. Mm, no. Yeah, okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, little lady. Another thing I ordered from Pat Pat was a load of these. But yes, little man. Apples and bananas. <laughs> Another thing I ordered from Pat Pat was a load of these bibs because they were super duper cheap. I haven't opened them yet, but I'm about to give Mila some crumpet and banana for breakfast. Camera cut off. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I'm about to get them out and see what they are like. I've never had bibs before. I actually also got some plates, um, which I'll show you guys in a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's kind of big for us. I've had to roll it right back up, but that just means it'll last, doesn't it? It will last you. And it's fab because it covers half of a pot. Also, the straps on this get so dirty. I need to take them off today, actually, and give them another wash. But um, it covers the straps, which is fab. So, you want, yes, darling? You want to get out? Sure, let me just give me this banana and then I'll come and get you. For anyone wondering, this is how I serve banana. If you just break a bit off and stick your finger like in the end, it splits into three bits. Three bits and it's perfect size. 
you go. Yum, 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 yum. She's been a bit off her food lately, has Mila, so we're just, just starting back up again, aren't we? She's like, what the heck is this? I'm just gonna launch that. We need a chair with a tray, don't we, princess? Just gonna roll it in your hand. What's a tray go? Mama to help? Do you want me to help? You want a taste? Nope. There we go, you do it. <laughs> do you love your crumpet? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got two crumpets with Nutella on. Mila's got two. Not with Nutella on, obviously. Is that so good? <laughs> Yummy! Right then, let's make a start with this little pat pat hole. Why is the house so quiet? No, that is that Listen. <laughs> Thanks, Isabel. <laughs> right, this is probably the worst camera angle in the whole wide world, but I don't want to take these bits upstairs and I'm going to do the clothes upstairs. So I just wanted to really quickly show you these few bits because I feel like they'd really help some of you guys or you might be interested in them anyway. I'm super impressed, so maybe, just maybe, you guys will be too. Obviously, we've just started to recently wean Mila, so I saw a few things on there that I thought they look really cute, so I bought them and I love them. Some of these items, are, actually no, I bought all these. Um, some of the clothes, I bought some of them and gifted. Um, how cute are these carrot plates? Chris is, like, Chris is like, what on earth are these? But look how cute these carrot plates are. I can't, they're so cute. <laughs> so, I mean, there's not really much explaining to do. They're just carrot plates. I got one in light pink and cream, and then I got these two colours as well. I don't know why I'm explaining the colours. You can see what colour they are. And then I realised also that you can take off the end and like put sauce and things in there. That's the type of mum I am. Anyway, they were like 99p or something. Something like that. They were so cheap. I also got some cups for me there. Um, I got two different designs. This one and this one. They're both straw cups and I, I just, I like straw cups. I always feel like they work better for us. They feel like a really good quality. This one I feel like will be harder for Mila to grasp. It's got like the thing in the bottom, but it's because you have to like bite to suck. It's not like a free flow straw, if that makes sense, but it still looks pretty cute. And then this one, which is also cute. I'll definitely take the strap off. We don't need the strap on, um, but it does come with a strap just in case your children are a bit older or you you like straps, I don't know. Comes with two little handles, helicopter thing on top, which is a bit random. And then a straw. This one is a flea, fro a flea flow. Free flow straw. Free flow straw. So, you know, you can just suck out of it. You don't have to bite or anything. So I love those. And then I also got these. They're like a dusky pink cutlery set bowl. Look how cute this bowl is. It's a suction bowl. I'm not too sure what the suction... Okay, yeah, the suction. Oh my gosh, look how, look how strong that is. I'm pulling all my weight on that. Okay, I didn't think that would work because it looks very shallow, but that, like, that ain't, no child's getting that off. That is so strong. So yeah, really good suction bowl. And then two little, a knife and um, a spoon and fork, which are really nice and soft. So I really like those. And then a little, little divider bowl. These, I can't remember the exact price. I think they came as a set. They might have come, I can't remember. These came with either that or that. I can't remember which. But they were a couple of pounds each. Like, not expensive at all. I really like them. They also come in different colours. Going to take you upstairs. <coughs> Look, that's arrived. Our console tables. I'm going to take you guys upstairs now. I'm going to show you the clothes. I thought I might as well just do it now. As soon as the house is quiet. Still can't get over my little, little snug area there. It looks so... So cute. Okay, so all the clothes that I got are up here in Mila's room. So I thought I'd just come up here and film this part of the haul really quickly. A few more of those bibs that I just show you guys downstairs. Won't open those. I also got a couple more matching outfits for Mila and Isla. Because Isla loves matching and these bits are just so adorable. So one is this matching t-shirt. Isla's are all age eight to nine. Um, I love the colour of this. So this is Isla's, and then the little, little vest. I think that's six to nine, that one's six to nine. So little vest for Mila, so cute. And then this one, which is just adorable as well. Isla's gonna love these. So sweet. Little, uh, big sister, sorry. And then for Mila, so cute. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Right, I'm gonna show you some of the outfits now. Personally, 
I'm so impressed. And one of the reasons that I really like Pat Pat is because, not for the price, it's because they're clothing that I don't feel like you get many of here. Next, I've started to do um, cute collared bits, but I still feel like the nicer ones you can find on Pat Pat. They're just my style of clothing and I absolutely love them. So here we go. First outfit comes with these tiny little leg warmers. So I've got something on, oh, it's just a bit of cotton. Tiny little leg warmers, which are just so cute. This is the top. Oh my gosh, look at this. These are a bit creased by the way. But here's the top. It's got a squirrel head, a little squirrel head on it. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> it's got a squirrel head on it, squirrel head. And then this little romper to go over the top. Oh my gosh. Um, let me see if I can just pop it over to show you guys what it'll look like on. With the little leg warmers, come on. Don't tell me that's not cute. It's adorable. And in fact, it's so adorable that I accidentally added two to the basket. So I ended up buying two of those. Don't know why I did that. Obviously didn't realize. Um, next up, this is nine to 12 months. A lot of these clothes are like nine to 12 month old for a nine to 12 month old, just because they're really cute. And Mila's in a cast right now and I want them when she's got her cast off. So next up is this really cute little floral vest. This feels like so nice. It's really, really soft. Um, it's just really nice. And to go with this, is this adorable? Look, little fox. Um, corduroy um, thing in my bobby do, pinafore dress. So adorable. This thing, th th this whole set actually feels so soft and nice, love it. Speaking of denim, corduroy, 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 corduroy. This dress is everything. Look at this, oh my gosh. Look how adorable this is. I kind of feel like this is like a, a certain taste, like they'll, you'll either like this or you won't, but oh, it's just right up my street. I think it's stunning. This will probably fit me there like next Christmas time, like winter time. So little black patent boots and some white frilly socks or oh, some black tights, I don't know. Oh, I just love it. If I can zoom in, it's such good quality as well. If I can zoom in so you can see, it's, uh, it's corduroy. I just love it. It's so nice, it feels quite thick as well. So, oh, and it's fully lined as well. So that's gonna keep her definitely nice and warm, even though it's a dress at winter time next year. Also in the corduroy material, I actually have, looking at the pile, a lot of corduroy this time. This, now this doesn't look very nice off, but I know for a fact this will look adorable on. And it's in nine to 12, so she'll probably be wearing it just as she starts to toddle. Look how cute it is! Oh my gosh, so it's just a long sleeved romper with this adorable, lacy, cute collar. So cute. Next up is another two piece. This is also a corduroy skirt and a vest. Um, this is quite thick, so it'll definitely be good for winter. And it's such a soft material, also a nine to 12 month. So this is the vest. This is like how it looks. And then for over the top, I'm trying to keep it up so you guys can see without it bagging all over the place, a little corduroy brown. <laughs> brown skirt look kind of like this i really love that outfit it's kind of hard to show you properly but you guys get the gist on what it looks like again it's super duper soft material really nice and thick not really thin like some sometimes you expect um when you're ordering from places like pat pat but it's not it's like really honestly good material this one is in six to nine i was just thinking i'm sure i got this a bit smaller of a smaller size and i got this in six to nine because summertime coming up and you know even if Mila still has a cast on I think this will look really cute so I love the corduroy dress but I love it little hedgehogs on it it's like a mustard color it looks a little bit brighter on camera than what it actually is in real life it's more like a mustard yellow with this really really sweet vest so the vest really cute it's got this little frill detail here on the front and it also has the cuffed frill on the arms as well, which I absolutely love. So all together, I think that looks so sweet on. Cute and really nice for summertime as well. This one's Isla's favorite. She wants her to wear this on her birthday, which is in April, so it's not gonna happen because this is nine to 12 months, but it is very cute. So sweet, I'm not massively keen on this bow. I think the dress itself would look nicer if it didn't have this bow on the front, but I still really like the dress. It's like, a, again, it's a thick material, excuse me, it's not, 
it's not thin at all it's a really nice quality the little blouse has got the cuffs and again it's quite a thick thick blouse it's not like a really thin sheer blouse and so really cute little dress this also came with uh, this headband as well so I think that will look super cute on another little romper this is actually different to what I was expecting I sometimes feel like you just have to it's not like it's different from the listing or anything I just presumed it was different from the picture I just presumed it was a different material but actually I prefer this material I was expecting more a, like a full cotton where it like wouldn't stretch but it's not it's like a stretchy material so if anyone's like wanting a certain material then obviously just check the description I didn't um because I wasn't really too fussed it was just in my head when it arrived I was like oh that's different to what I was expecting but as you can see it's stretchy it's super cute nine to twelve months again it's a little it looks like it's a two-piece so it looks like it's a cardigan and a romper but it's not it's like all a one piece and again it's a bit it's a bit of a deeper red in the in real life on camera it looks bright red it's like a deep maroon color but let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, it does look super cute. One thing I have noticed on this though is there is a bit of fraying on the collar here, which I've not noticed on anything else I've bought. So that's something to bear in mind. If you can see there, it's a little bit fraying. It's not a big deal to me, I'll just um, snip it off. But if that's gonna affect you, gonna bother you, then obviously don't buy this. But I really like it, I still think it's super cute. It was only a few pounds. And I think it'll look adorable on Mila when she starts toddling around. Forgot to say it also come with a little tie headband. I can never do these. So if the headband comes ready made, perfect. If it comes like this, it's probably not going to get used with me because, I mean, you know, it's, how do you get the bow? Like, what's going on? My head's massive. It's clearly meant for a baby, not an adult. But, you know, wait a minute. No, nope, can't do it. You know, it's, yeah, it's not really, it's not really working, is it? Actually. I could so rock this. <laughs> no, I couldn't. There we go. Anyway, next up is this. This was in six to nine. Yeah, this is in six to nine. So cute. I actually might put this on her. I wonder if this will fit her now. Uh, she is in actually like not to three. Still before she got a cast on to three to six. But now she's in like three to six to six to nine because the cast obviously makes her much bigger. So this is the little jumper and then to go, it's got such nice detail on it. And then to go with that, these super adorable pants. It's so hard to show you guys. There we go. So cute. I absolutely love this outfit. I'm actually going to keep that to one side because I feel like that might fit now. Next up, another romper, corduroy. This one's again six to nine months. I thought again, this was different to what I was expecting, not in a negative way. I just thought it came separate. So I thought it was like a t-shirt type thing or vest underneath the romper, but it's not. It comes as a one piece. This is in six, six to nine months, but it's very, very cute. Like look how adorable that is. Well, I think it is anyway. And then last up is another corduroy dress. This is like the softest thing I've ever felt. I actually, this feels like a little bit of a fidget to me because it's really soft but bumpy at the same time. I just love running my hands over it. Again, nine to 12 months, oh, um, and it's just a really cute corduroy dress and it comes with the cutest top to go underneath. Adorable, again, I'm all about the frills. I know you're probably thinking another one with a big collar and cuffed sleeves, but it's, it's honestly just my style and I love it. I'm trying to work out what this will look like all together. So cute for winter time. Come when uh, autumn time comes round again, which is when she'll be in this size. I think these will look so adorable. I've actually just found a headband and realized that I've also ordered this outfit twice because I've got this here and I've also got it down here. So just for anyone that's interested, this cute little one, Fox one, does also come with ready-made headband and then I just ordered a couple of bits for myself as well I ordered them all in an extra large which I think is a size 16 and um, that's how it works on other sites anyway so they're all extra large I think they're about six, a size 14 to a 16 and this one is just a nice green one it's a breastfeeding one obviously I'm still breastfeeding Mila so you just can pull it up the side and then I've not actually worn these yet but I just thought that was a really nice colour. This will look nice with some jeans or some leggings. I also ordered, 
also ordered it in pink. This one's got different sleeves. This one's not the same, but it's just similar. Uh, it's just got like a frill on the bottom. I prefer the green on the pictures. I prefer the pink, but actually I prefer the green one. Not sure if this, not sure how this one will look on me. And then finally, I ordered this, which I'm obsessed with. I love the colour. I just said to Chris this morning um, how much I love these on me, and I need to get more of them. They're like dresses, but shirts. So I've got a green one, and I just want to wear it every day. Like, I want to wear it all the time. <laughs> Perfect for feeding in, super comfortable. I think they're quite flattering. And so I was really excited when I saw this one um, in such a nice colour. It's like a nice beige colour. Is this extra large as well? Yep, yeah, this is extra large as well. And it's just really nice. This will be so nice like in winter time with boots and tights. And it will be really nice in summertime with some nice little sandals or something. So I feel like these are such a win-win. So I ordered that for myself as well. And that's everything. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not a bit obsessed with clothing. I think most of you guys already know I am. I don't know where it stems from. Maybe the fact that when I was younger, I didn't really get many new clothes. And I remember the struggle, like when anybody, any of my friends used to like say, do you want to come out? And I'd be like, but I've got nothing to wear. And when I say I've got nothing to wear, I genuinely meant it. Like I didn't have any clothes. Um, and I, I'd always like go around to Nana's and be like, Nana. <laughs> my nana would take me out and buy me an outfit but um it clothing for me when i was younger was a struggle and even when i had isabel i went through a stage when i'd left her father and me and her had moved out and i was trying to um just provide for me and her and i got a job and i didn't really have much money and i wanted to get us our own home so that me and isabel had a home um, and things were just tight like really tight and i didn't have the money to go out and buy a nice clothes and i remember constantly washing like the same two or three outfits and just putting the same two or three outfits on her because that's that's all she had and that's all i could afford and so now i feel like i used to i, I used to go it sounds so ridiculous but i used to go to bed on a night and worry about what they were going to wear the next day and when me and Chris got together it was like a routine of mine to get Isabel's outfit out for the next day and if I didn't I used to be thinking about it all night and Chris would say why are you doing that just get it out in the morning and I used to say I can't because if I wake up in the morning and I can't find anything or nothing's clean or the top doesn't match the bottoms it's going to irritate me it sounds crazy but I think that's why I just love so much buying new clothes for the girls and Jace um I'm not justifying my actions I just love it. But yeah, um, thank you to Pat Pat for some of those outfits that were gifted. Like I said before, some of them were gifted, some of them were bought. Um, but I definitely recommend them. I'll leave a link in the description box down below for anybody that's struggling and can't really afford prices of shops. They're really reasonable and they are really good quality as well. I feel like that's probably taken up like half of today's vlog. So let's get on with the rest of the day. I forgot to mention, guys, there's also an extra discount code if you do decide to order from Pat Pat. That will be linked in the description box down below. What's going on in here? <laughs> you brought up to Jace's bedroom. Oh, Jace's so <laughs> because your bedroom's a mess. We need to sort her bedroom. We really need to get that sorted out for her. I want to do a little sensory corner and we're perfect now she's in a cast. Won't it? Tell you one thing, I'm loving iFam. This Mamaru chair. <laughs> obviously it's another chair that we have to obviously sit with her because we can't strap her in properly. But she fits in it, she's comfy in it and she seems happy when she's sat on this pillow, right? Yeah, I'm doing the boot room, I'm completing it. Whoa, don't be getting giddy. One thing at a time, mate. They're not staying there. Fine. Valentine's Day, I know you've forgotten all, but... I've been nice and fine to you all morning, oh, but I might have forgotten. Have you really? Yeah. Oh, I must have missed that. Also, guys, look, our curtains are done. We heightened the curtain rail. We did that yesterday. And so it looks really nice. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Chubby, chubby, chubs. We're going out. Hey, are we going to go out today? Yes, we are. <laughs> we need to go out and get some paint for the boot room. Hello, everyone. Me and Isla have just come downstairs because we are going to be making some awesome Valentine's Day cake donutty things. I'm using a cake mix to do this because I've got no idea how to make donuts, but they kind of taste the same. Yeah, taste the same. Um, but I've got circle. We've got circle ones. We've got a few others. But I feel like these two will be fine. Um, yes. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So we have all of the stuff laid out, obviously not the back white, but we've got all of the stuff laid out here. Um, it's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a lot. We have the baking book as well, the recipe book. Yes, we have my recipe book, and we are about to make some yummy things. And I'm not gonna film too much of me making them, but I will um, film popping them in the oven and taking them out. Okay guys, so I've just finished um, all the um, batter stuff, and I've just put it all in these trays. I was only planning on doing this one, and then I had too much butter, so I did this one, 
had too much batter so I did this one. And now they are finally all full. So I'm about to put them in the oven and I really need to clean up my mess so I can start making the icing. <gasps> Gee guys, I just finished and took them all out of the tray and they blew up so much but they look so cute. So there's heart ones, um, another heart one there. There's quite a lot of heart ones and then there's these like bunny kind of ones, um, bun ones and then there's just these circle ones um, that look really like cool. I actually just completely estimated um, how long to keep these in for because it said 40 minutes but that was for a cake, like a thick cake. But these are just for little things and I left them in for a little bit. I think it was like uh, th like 15 minutes and they came out nearly burnt. So I'm glad they came out the right time but the this bit is super soft and squidgy. I mean I'll just try it on because as I was taking them out of the mould one of them broke and we both like gimme gimme. Eat it and I also made some um, buttercream icing sugar, I mean buttercream sugar stuff, um, buttercream icing and I totally estimated how much butter to add in but we just tried it and it tastes so good. So it's basically just butter mixed extremely long for like five minutes until it like kind of changes colour and doubles its size. We did that with the electric whisk because my turbo arm. So and then we added three cups of um, icing sugar and two, three tablespoons of milk, and it gave us the nicest buttercream ever. O-M-G. I just got a bit of this buttercream icing th stuff, and I put it in a separate bowl, and added some Nutella to it, and this tastes so good. Because I feel like if it's all of them are buttercream, it's going to get quite like boring. Um, so I found Nutella and Biscoff stuff in the cupboard. I don't know if the Biscoff will taste nice. I don't know if you guys like this, but I actually really like it, especially on toast, which I'm not sure if that's what it's meant for. But I actually really like it. I tried it this morning and I really liked it. So I'm going to try and see if that tastes nice. Um, hopefully it does. Next up, icing. So we just got back home and Esme surprised us with these amazing I told them to wait until after dinner, but here cakes. Yeah, Dad mm -hmm. came in and, and um, yeah, that's it. They're very yummy though. And that is just like all the credit because I only added sugar in and mixed it. Bit You've done really good, Esme. Thank they you. look and mix. These ones oh, are just me. like normal butter sugar, um, icing but sugar stuff. Buttercream. Yeah, buttercream uh, with Nutella filling. Mm. And then these ones are Biscoff. Um, it's got um, icing cream they stuff, look so and good. then with the Nutella ones. They look amazing. Thank you. Also, I got these jars, but I got these the other day and or last week sometime actually, and I didn't know what to do with them. But they were just the most adorable things, and I thought we could put yeah, some Valentine's so Day things, but I didn't get around to buying actual Valentine's Day things. So I thought I'd just film them with some marshmallows. I think they look very cute. Also, when I was last out with Esme, I found uh, these candle holder things. They're very definitely 100% like taste, you're either gonna love these or you're gonna hate them. And I <laughs> showed them to Esme and she was like, ew, they are the most disgusting, Esme like doesn't hold back when she doesn't like something. She's like, they are the most disgusting things ever, you are not buying them flowers. And <laughs> I kind of, I kind of agreed, like I love them, but I hate them at the same time. But I knew Chris would love them. And I said, but don't you think dad would like them? And she was like, no, they, no mom, just no. So we didn't get them. And then we went today, <laughs> I said to Chris, just because I was interested to see if I was right and that he would love them. And I said to Chris, do you like these? And he went, what, what, what on earth? And I was like, do you think they'd look nice? Like in the hallway there and then. And he went, oh, we're getting them. Get, I'm, I don't care how much they are, we're buying them. And we've bought two, so I'm about to show you now. <laughs> I'm actually nervous to show you because literally I know for a fact that most of you guys are gonna be like, they're a unique taste, for sure. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> this is them. It's like a metal, massive, like the huge thing uh, with a handle on, and uh, you put a candle on there. So you can see how big they are. They're giant, and they're going to go. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting myself. Chris actually was going to buy four of them, and I was like, no, let's just get two for now. They're going to go there. I said, don't you think they'll look nice there as you walk in, like with candles lit on them? I mean. I obviously had a vision when I saw them and I, I could vision them in the house otherwise I wouldn't have said to Chris should we get these and look they'd look nice there but just because Chris was so dead set like we're having them and then I was like oh I'm not sure now but we got them anyway we've got two Chris was like should we buy four we can put four I don't think there's enough space for them on this end no there's not oh pretty much not he was like we could put some no I don't think they'd look nice land anyway 
Chris is buzzing with them. Where are you, babe? I'm going down now. How chuffed are you with these? Oh, okay, I'm sorting this hair right now. Oh. Why have you got your hood up in the house? Is it raining? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's one or the other. Are we doing the boot room, no, painting it? No, we're doing the hallway. Oh, or are we doing the hallway? Hallway, then dinner time. Oh. Take away dinner time tonight, what are you saying? I would just say, no, not take away dinner. Oh, yeah. I don't want take away dinner tonight. Yeah. I already spoke about this. Oh. Not having takeaway dinner. I'm having a dinner. I want dinner out. And I don't even want expensive dinner out. I just want to go to the local pub for dinner. That's all. But I don't want to do that tonight because I know it'll be really busy. So we'll do that one day during the week yeah, for Valentine's Day. But we're not having takeaway tonight. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're about to do the hallway. And I was just saying how much you love your candle holders. I do, they're amazing. Let's put them on right now. These look massive. I'm guessing because they're glass. Mirror, they will just be very well padded and they're not actually as big as what they look right now. Babe, what, 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 what? You've already put a fingerprint on it. Oh, give up. I thought it was a crack on it then or something. <laughs> Did you wear it? What, 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 what? <laughs> they're really nice. Are they massively heavy? Um, they're a bit heavy. Might explain why we had to pay £100 for postage. £100, £50 each for shipping on these things. They're beautiful about the eyes. This is what they look like. We need to move that. You can't have gold, no silver. Wow. That doesn't look right. The plant needs to go. I mean, we've got, we did get a few bits whilst we were out today. I'm a little bit worried that we got too much like silver, but I guess we'll see what it looks like when it's all together. Chris is absolutely buzzing that none have got marks on them. None of them are smashed. <laughs> Two glass units and It's like not being excited all day. It's like I need to check them out first. <laughs> I need to make sure they haven't got marks on them. Also, our house does not flow at all. Do you know when people like decorate their homes when they've got a new house? And they like make the rooms flow. Why does it flow? Because we've got like bling down here and like properly like arty, modern, contemporary, blingy. And then upstairs we've got like <laughs> Total opposite, like cozy, cozy cottage. That's all it, it, it like doesn't flow yeah, at all. Like so many people are like, do, you've got to make sure all the rooms flow. And I'm like the opposite. I'm like, I've got so many different spaces. I can have all the different rooms in different places of my house. The house doesn't flow at all, but I kind of like that. I get the best of both or all, best of all worlds. I get to have the bling down here. Oh, he's back checking the corners again. You're all right, you're all right. Um, yeah, I get the best of both. I get to have, uh, but the house doesn't flow at all. <laughs> it's like different. Each floor of our house is like a different house. Oh, look in here. Hi, Hi, Hi. 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 You come in the camera, Mimi. <laughs> she has definitely found her voice. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I've got the cutest. She was literally looking. You two look so alike, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. Oh, oh the plants are big. Plant oh, the plants, again. yeah, the plants should stay there. That other one down there died. Well, I think it's died. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mila! <laughs> What's with that? Oh, I'd love a cup of tea, Izzy. Thank you. Hands down, the best purchase that we've ever made for this house. How chuffy and scary Oh, I, lit I literally adore these. They don't know why, they, they just remind me of like an Egyptian pharaoh pyramid <laughs> inside. I don't know, but they're just like, I just love them. Okay, so like you open the front door, yeah, boom, you open the front door straight onto the staircase, which is stunning anyway. And then these two, oh, I love them, they just look so good. I'm gonna do a better shot on a, on a better camera so you can get a proper like image of what they look like, but. They, do, they do actually look really nice. Yeah, opening the front door they're to those candles. Animals. Yeah. That's I why I like like literally my favourite purchase we've ever made for this house. I love them. So I love candles anyway, but they just look stunning. Anyway, time to decorate these, put the lamps on them, and then we're gonna light this place up a different way than it normally is. We're gonna light it up all ambient and see what it looks like. Yeah. To say me memes. Why are you Thank shouting you. at me, me memes? It's not the cutest pictures of Mila either. Oh you got your Valentine's so pictures cute. on. Look at Mila's face. Oh that is they're adorable. <laughs> they're insane. Look at Mila's face. <laughs> oh they're so cute. I'm gonna upload a few to Instagram. They're so cute, Mia. They're so cute! Look at her, she's like, watch, watch. Do it again. Oh, they're absolutely mega. <laughs> they're so cute. Look at you and I, they're your 
big sister yeah. looking at her. You couldn't help it, but you were sick all down your top. Yeah. Nice. I'm so glad I got the pictures before that. <laughs> Just whilst Chris is cleaning his glass, I thought I'd ask you guys advice on this plant. I'm not sure if it's dying, but it's been like this for quite a while now. I don't know if you can see how like bendy the leaves are. Now I'm not a plant person and I'm not gonna pretend I am, but I really don't want this one to die. Um, so is that because it's getting too big? And if so, how do I chop this down? Sorry, Mimi's. Can you just give me a minute, darling? No? Okay, so, yeah, does it need chopping down? Is that why, don't do that Jace, just be careful. Is that why they're too wiggly? And if I'm supposed to chop this down, how do I do it? Because I don't know how to trim this. I've got no idea. And if it's not, and it's because it's dying, then why is it dying? <laughs> because I only water it like once every four or so days, just to keep the soil moist down there. But yeah, if anyone knows why it's going all bubbly and wrinkly like that, and it's been like that for ages. Comment down below and let me know. The plan? Yeah, that's great. Because I don't want this plant that I just showed you <laughs> to end up. I don't know what happened to it. I know what happened to it, you. When you tried to clean it. Yeah, but you have to have them things in it. Okay, so basically when you overwater plants, you can get these things called mealybugs. That sounds vile, but basically all it is, it looks like cotton wool on your plant, and it happens when you overwater it. They don't like spread all over your house or anything, and they just stay on the plant. And they're sometimes harmless to plants, but if they get like overrun with it, they can kill the plant. But to get rid of them, basically what you do is spray um, washing up liquid and water, right? But Chris obviously didn't do that, because this is what happened to ours. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh because it's not funny at all. It's really not funny. But yeah, that's what this looks like. You did do it wrong, babe. Because you bunched all the leaves, the, all the things together and pulled it. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to do it one leaf at a time. So we've had it sat here near the window, near the light. But I don't know why, because it's clearly dead. But I'm probably reaching here. But if anybody knows of anything I can do to try and revive that, then let me know. If it's a lost cause, then also let me know. Because I'll just put it outside in the bin. Because... I'm just holding on to it because I feel sorry for it. It has still got green on it. And it's been like that now for how long? Three weeks. It's been like that for three weeks. And it's still green. Well, I say it's green. <laughs> it's kind of still green. <laughs> oh, it's probably a lost cause. I feel bad for that plant now. But yeah, if anybody has any advice, then please comment down below and let me know. Um, I'm not a plant person. Anyway, I'm gonna go show you, show you the hallway, the entrance hall now, but I just wanted to show you quickly these. I saw these beautiful cushions last, well, whenever I last went to Matalan with Esme, and I thought, they're so cute. They'll look really nice on the chairs that we've got upstairs on the landing in my, my little snug area. And I said to Esme, should I get these? And Esme, she was like, but they're 12 pound each. That'll be like 25 pound almost for two cushions. And I was like, yeah, I'd spent a bit that day. I thought, I best not. So I didn't. Went back today with Chris. Just love it when that happens. They also had them in black, if anyone's wondering. This is like a dusky beigey pink. Um, and I think they're gonna look perfect on there. I'm gonna take them up now, actually. So I bought two. Um, you wanna go out, Prini? You wanna go out, darling? Come on in. Oh. Gosh, I've got so many black bags outside the back of our house there. <laughs> With loads of boxes and cardboard and things that need to take into the tip. Are you doing that tomorrow? Yeah, I think yeah, you are. Sorry, yeah. It's alright, mess up there. Yeah. yeah, right, I'm gonna take these up and then I'm gonna show you the oh my oh it looks so nice. Look how weird it looks. It looks so homely. It's completely transformed it. Oh my gosh, so I'm not gonna show you it. I'm gonna let Chris do it with a gimbal. Nice little bit of montage. Here you go. I never know how to position pillows. That just looks ridiculous. That'll do. One there. Also bought this today because it smells divine. Like, so good. So. Still got these pictures to put on the wall, but I need to go make dinner, so they'll have to wait until tomorrow. Or maybe after dinner, depending on how late it is. I honestly love that area. I absolutely love that little space. So nice. And now, when you walk down the steps, Oh, it just looks so, 
so much more homely. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Even Chris's random little candle pillar thing in my bobby doos. <laughs> and my random <laughs> pear and apple. Chris was like, what, what on earth? <laughs> they look nice now. Do you like it? They look really nice. It just looks so nice everywhere. Don't you think it's really exciting to see like little bits of the house starting to come together? Yeah. Yeah, so happy. But I was happy with it before, so yeah. I can't believe I was happy with it before. Yeah, Chris was. It's not me. Chris is a type of person that's like, we don't need anything on the walls, it looks clean. We don't need anything on the floors, carpets, or like rugs, it looks tidy. We don't need any ornaments or console tables or blah blah blah. It just looks clean. And I'm like, no babe, it doesn't look clean, it looks clinical. Need a bit of Sarah oomph in it. It looks absolutely dope now. It does look really cute in here. Really, really cute. We need some um, batteries in the clock. I think there's some in the kitchen cupboard. Yeah. But it looks really nice and homely in here. I love it. I'm so happy with it. What's next? Boot room. Yeah, boot, room tomorrow. boot room tomorrow. And then I had another another thing. Oh, Mila's bedroom. And then this room, which we're definitely, definitely going to argue about because Chris doesn't want to do anything with this space here. No, I'll do it. Yeah. We want the media wall here. I really want the media wall here, but I want a rug as well. Chris doesn't want a rug. And I want to do some. Chris doesn't want a rug. <laughs> I do. Chris doesn't. Um, and I want something on the walls. I think they look too plain. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the media wall and the electric fire being put in here. What's going on, Mimi? So we're going to end the vlog tonight together? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are ready for bed. And Mommy's just reading Jace a bedtime story right now. Uh, so me and Mimi are going to go get ourselves ready for bed properly. Are we, darling? Then we're going to go because you're so tired now. Okay, Sarah's taking Mila. So, uh, don't buy candles from Ikea. This candle... Uh, we bought a few weeks back and we haven't lit it. In fact, we bought it before Christmas because we had these at Christmas, but we didn't light them. Tonight we lit them for the first time. That one has burnt fine. While we are eating dinner, we heard a bit of a weird splashy noise. Kind of what it sounded like. Came in and this had happened. The whole thing like either exploded and exploded wax everywhere. Like literally everywhere. I know, it's a good job these steps are stone and can take it and knock anything else. But that completely exploded and it's completely hollowed out now. So that was a little bit dangerous. If we had not been paying attention to that and it had been carpet or anything else, that could have been very dangerous indeed. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to end it now and we're going to go start watching season four of The Stina. Because it's, uh, we, I've loved the other three seasons. It's always like slow burn with them seasons, but they're always really, really good. So I'm going to get that on tonight. And um, we will see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and you enjoyed the transformation. That is this hallway right now. So, so happy with it. I absolutely adore it. And i um, excited to move on to the next one now. The next one's going to be a fun one. It's going to be good. So, we'll see you tomorrow at 5. Good night, guys.